Now we'll see about the floating body. In the floating body, a body is floating over it. So how the body looks like? So floating body, one example, boat. See, this all are the floating body. This all are the floating body. How it is, looks like? If you see the cross section of the body, of the seep, like in this. The floating body. So whether it is fully sub submerged, it is not submerged fully. So this is the floating body concept. Now we'll see for the floating body. But one thing you see here, we what the diagram we are just drawing now. It is axis symmetric about this axis. It is symmetric about this axis. The side and the side is symmetric. So it's an axis symmetry. About Z axis. What is the Z axis? We have seen it from the depth and free surface. If you consider here the free surface here. That is a free surface. Water surface. So these are the water. This portion is the water. It's underwater. That is the floating body. So in the case of the floating body, you think one thing. How much portion is inside water? So here, if you consider this portion is the, this much volume is inside. This much amount of volume is inside water. So only this much amount of the volume is displaced by the solid body. So only this much volume of water or liquid is displaced by the solid body. Okay, and the weight of this liquid displaced by the solid body is nothing but the Fp, buoyancy force, which is acting upward direction. And this body having weight downward direction, and these two are equal. So that is the condition of the floating condition. So floating condition, the buoyancy force is equal to weight. If any position, if you are equilibrium position, it's a floating also, it is the same, and submerged at a corresponding position where it is equilibrium. Previous concept, whatever we are discussing here, that is the equilibrium inside the body. It maintains, it keeps its own position at a constant position in the water. For the submerged body. So that's why the force, buoyancy force, was equal to the sub uh, weight. In here, the buoyancy force is similarly equal to the weight, and buoyancy force is due to the only how much portion liquid is displaced by the solid. So this much volume, the hatched volume is displaced by the liquid. That is the concept here. So here also we are going to know the stability. Here also we are going to know the stability. So how the stability here you are getting it? So the body, just you see, now stability formation what? Again we give one clockwise couple, clockwise. So how it will be looks like? After giving this clockwise, 
after giving this is the clockwise this will be looks in this manner so it will be looks in this manner In this way. Now it is become in this way. Okay. This body is now becomes in this way. So axis, axis symmetric, the, the axis about it symmetry previously, this was previously in this axis. Now it is in this axis. Now angular change. Here you see one thing. Here you see one thing that previously it was here. Now, previously it was the level of the, this was the level of the water, just like here. It is here. Now it is like that. So, what you see? here the amount of the water the amount of the water the here this portion this volume this hatched volume is coming out of water this is the most important thing you think that the hatched volume here in this volume of water is coming uh, this volume is coming out of water and here in this side the same volume is coming in the water. So the displaced volume, whatever here, here also the same displaced volume. Why it is happening? Because the axis symmetry about the axis. About this axis, it is symmetric condition, that's why. So how much volume is getting up? The same amount of the volume is going inside on the other side. So from the left hand side, this much of volume, the hatch portion in the left hand side, this much volume is coming up. And right side, this much as volume is going inside the water. So due to this condition, what is happening? So due to this condition, you see here, the center of buoyancy, the center of buoyancy previously here, so previously, where, where was the center of buoyancy? Let you take here the center of buoyancy was there. That is the B or CB. And here was the previously center of gravity. Now the gravity, center of gravity is not changing. Center of gravity will not change here. It will never change. Center of gravity is not changed. But center of buoyancy is shifted here, some new place, P dash. Because now how much water is inside here? This amount of the water. If you color, you change. Now inside, displaced water is this portion. This is the displaced water. Volume is the same, but it is shifted in this direction, left hand side. So it is the displaced water, B. So, here, the center of gravity position will not change, but center of buoyancy position will be changed for the case of the floating body. First concept. Second concept, it is the axis symmetry about, that means it is symmetric about the axis. So about here it is, this is the axis which contains the axis, which contains the center of gravity. It contains the center of gravity. One more thing we'll see. From the B, B dash, so here, from the, from the B dash, if you draw a perpendicular line, so it will meet a point with the 
center of symmetry. And this point is known as the meta center, M. This point is known as the meta center. Again, I'm repeating. From the new displaced position, so new position of the center of buoyancy, if you draw one perpendicular line, it will intersect with the axis, symmetric axis, which is going to the central line, central line of the floating body. And this point, intersecting point is known as the meta center. Intersecting point is known as the meta center. And this GM, the distance between the center of gravity and meta center is known as the metacentric height. This GA, metacentric height, is the only parameter which will be decide whether the equilibrium is stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, or neutral equilibrium. So it is only the deciding factor here, metacentric height. If GM is greater than zero what does it mean that is mean aim is above g that is a stable condition if gm is less than zero that means aim is below g unstable if gm is equal to zero that means meta center and gravity is the same point m is at g so it is a neutral equilibrium. That is the condition of stability for floating body. 